The Invocation of Thoth, or Tehuti. At the ending of the night, at the limits of the light, Thoth stood before the unborn ones of time. Then was formulated the universe, then came forth the gods thereof, the aeons of the bornless beyond. Then was the voice vibrated, then was the name declared at the threshold of the entrance between the universe and the infinite. In the sign of the inter stood Thoth, as before him were the aeons proclaimed. In breath did he vibrate them, in symbols did he record them, for betwixt the light and the darkness did he stand. Procol, O oh Procol, este profani, barlasti impala. In the name of the mighty and terrible one, I proclaim that I have banished the shells unto their habitations. I invoke Tahuti, the Lord of wisdom and of utterance, the God that cometh forth from the veil. O thou majesty of the Godhead, wisdom crowned Tahuti, Lord of the gates of the universe, thee, thee I invoke, O thou the ibis head, thee, thee I invoke, Thou who wieldest the wand of double power, Thee, thee I invoke, Thou who bearest in thy left hand the rose and cross of light and life, Thee, thee I invoke, Thou whose head is as an emerald, And thy nemesis the night sky blue, Thee, thee I invoke, Thou whose skin is as a flaming orange, as though it were burnt in a furnace, thee, thee I invoke. Behold, I am yesterday, today, and the brother of tomorrow. I am born again and again. Mine is the unseen force whereof the gods are sprung, which is as life unto the dwellers of the watchtowers of the universe. I am the charioteer of the east, Lord of the past and the future, I see by my own inward light. Lord of resurrection who cometh forth from the dust, and my birth is from the house of death. O ye two divine hawks upon your pinnacles who keep watch over the universe, ye who accompany the bier to the house of rest and pilot the ship of Ra, ever advancing onward to the heights of heaven, Thou art Lord of the shrine which standeth in the center of the earth. Behold, he is in me, and I am in him. Mine is the radiance wherein Ptah floateth over the firmament. I travel upon high. I tread upon the firmament of new. I raise a flashing flame with the lightning of mine eyes, ever rushing onward in the splendor of the daily glorified Ra giving my life to the dwellers of the earth. If I say, come up upon the mountain, the celestial water shall flow at my command. For I am Ra, incarnate, Kephra, created in the flesh. I am the idler of my father, Tanu, the lord of the city of the sun. The god who commands is in my mouth. The god of wisdom is in my heart. My tongue is a sanctuary of truth, and a god sitteth upon my lips. My word is accomplished every day, and the desires of my heart realizes itself as that of Ptah when he created his works. I am eternal, therefore all things are of my design. Therefore do thou come forth unto me from thine abodes in silence, Unutterable wisdom, all lighter power. All Hermes, Mercury, Odin, Holy Spirit, by whatever name I call thee, 
thou art still nameless to eternity. Come thou forth, I say, and aid and guide me in this work of art. Thou star of the east that didst conduct the magi, thou art the same, all present in heaven and in hell. Thou that vibratest between the light and the darkness, rising, descending, changing, ever yet ever the same. The sun is thy father, the mother, the moon. The wind has borne thee in its bosom. The earth has ever nourished the changeless godhead of thy youth. Come thou forth, I say, come thou forth, and make every spirit of the firmament and of the ether upon the earth and under the earth, on dry land and in the water of whirling air and of rushing fire, and every spell and scourge of God the vast one, obedient unto me.